Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service and experience expert, and on this video, I'm going to discuss how customer service isn't getting worse. Customer service is getting harder. Now, this was the message that Barack Elim, the CEO of NICE, a technology company that's focused on customer experience solutions, he shared it with an audience of customers at the recent NICE Interactions User Conference in Las Vegas. How profound, and he's right. Surveys in the customer service world are coming back and indicating that customers perceive customer service to be worse than just last year. W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State University finds that in 2013 customer problems climbed to 50 percent from 45 percent in 2011 and 32 percent in 1976. Yet at the same time, companies are marketing and bragging about how they provide great customer service. Now here's my take. The customer is smarter than ever when it comes to customer service. The best companies are becoming benchmarks for others to aspire, not just in their own industry, but across all industries. Companies such as Apple, Amazon, Zappos, Ace Hardware, Ritz-Carlton, Nordstrom, and others are consistently top performers in the world of customer service. They're very proud of it, and they tell the world about it, thereby educating the consumer on what really good customer service looks like. As a result, customers hope to get this level of customer service from all of the companies they do business with. That just makes it harder for companies that aren't quite as customer focused, and that's a good thing. Companies that really want to compete and stand out are being forced to raise the bar and give customers a better experience. It can only be for the good of the customer and for the good of business. So how does a company begin to not just meet but exceed the customer's expectations? How do they raise the bar? A good start is to identify the typical customer's journey. Determine all of the main touch points or frontline interactions. Think of each of these interactions as a link in a chain. If there's a weak link, figure out how to strengthen it to eliminate or mitigate problems and customer complaints. Look at the strong links and determine what might be done to make them even stronger. At the same time, take a look at what's happening behind the scenes to support these frontline interactions. The systems and people behind the scenes can make or break the frontline customer experience. There's no doubt that some companies aren't good at delivering customer service. But what about the ones that try yet fail? Is it that they're bad or getting worse? Maybe not. Maybe they're failing because the bar has been raised and the customer is expecting more than ever before. Maybe it's just getting harder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs as well as over 300 customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.